I'm Jessie Day from Lily Shop and this is HGTV Handmade and I'm here for the week doing different DIY tutorials and recipes. And today we are doing a super fun fashion DIY because we are making these book clutches. For this project, you are going to need fabric. And this is just felt, you can get it at any craft store. It comes like this, they have some really fun colors and patterns. And then a piece of felt, eight and a half by 11 will do. And then you're going to need a ruler and liquid gold leaf for the edges of the book. For this project, we are using a book box and you can find these at any craft store. They have a lot of them. I got the smaller size because I thought it looked more like a clutch. What's great about these is that they're already stable, which is what a clutch is, and they're empty inside and they are already felted inside as well. So you're saving a lot of steps. And then there's a magnet on both sides so it closes and doesn't open when you put your money inside. So what I'm gonna do first is paint the edges of this book. And these are gold, but it's like a printed gold. I don't think it looks that fabulous. So I'm going to use the liquid leaf. What I'm going to do is paint the sides of this and this stuff will last you a very long time. It's so cool. If you've never used it, you're gonna love it. So what I'm gonna do is just paint the sides of my book. And what's great about this is this is not like a regular paint, so it dries instantly. Make sure you get the edges of the book too, because the top will be covered, but the edges will still show through. So what you're gonna do is you're going to lay out your felt now or your material. You're going to measure it. You're gonna put it directly to the edge. Then you're going to mark off where you're gonna cut on the other side, right here. So we made our line and I'm just gonna cut straight on the line. This has little lines in it so it's easy to follow along. I'm using fabric scissors. These are great scissors because they're sharper and they cut a really fine, nice line down any fabric. And then what we're going to do is line up the edges so it's perfectly fit and you're going to tightly roll it over, all right? And make sure that it's super tight and to the edge. And what you're gonna do is you're going to hot glue the first side. I do that before I cut it because if you mess up and you didn't leave enough room or it wasn't snug enough, then you've already cut your material and you're pretty much, you know what. So what I do is I first line up the first side of the book with the material and then I'm going to take my hot glue and I'm going to do the entire edge. This is really thick material, so I can put it down the center of the book. If you don't have thick material, don't do that because the glue will show through the fabric. Pressing it down. Now that we have it stuck, you're going to carefully snug it to the back like this and then use your pen and draw a line of where you're gonna cut. So now that it's cut, I'm going to add the rest of the glue. So do you want to go down the binding first? All right, press that down. And then I'm going to now glue the back side. If you wanted to leave it as a book, you would leave it like this, but we're not, we're making it into a purse. So what you wanna do now is we're going to have to add a lining to the sides because otherwise when you opened your purse, everything would be like, ah! So what we are going to do now is take our eight and a half by 11 piece of felt and we're going to cut two squares. And the square is basically going to connect the two sides. So depending on how far you want it to open is how big the square is gonna be. I'm going to cut two four by four inch squares. And when you're cutting your felt, make sure to cut the Sharpie line off. I can't tell you how many people draw lines and then leave the line on. You wanna cut next to the line because no one wants to see that Sharpie line.
So now we have our two squares. What you're going to do is we're going to attach these, but because we don't want to leave them square, we're going to round them. Just like this, look. See? So you're going to take your square, both of them at once, so they're the same, and you're going to round them, just like this, corner to corner. Now we're going to glue them inside. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the back side of this, just like that. And we're going to do the other side as well. So when you're gluing the felt to the top portion of the book, you wanna glue the opposite side. So we glued this side to the bottom and you wanna glue the opposite side to the top. So that way, when it opens, it folds in, okay? If you did it the other way, it would constantly be like that and that doesn't look good. So when it's out here like this, Put your glue on it and then put it on the inside of your book. And don't worry, if a little hot glue comes out like that, you can just use an X-Acto knife and get, get rid of it. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side. It's a little smaller, so it's more difficult to glue. It's the last piece. And then carefully glue it inside. And try and get to the farthest edge you can get to without going outside the book, obviously and then let it dry open like this because if you close it while it's hot, you're gonna glue your book shut. I don't know who would do that. All right, so now the clutch is done. If you wanted to leave it like this, you could. If you wanted to put a jewel on the front, like something from a necklace or see, like that, you could add to it, you could embellish it. If you wanted to put something on the top, that would be really neat too. But I'm going to show you right now how to add the jump hooks just in case you want to add a strap like I did. So what you're going to do is open it up. We're going to drill a hole, so I'm just putting down some paper or a piece of wood if you had it because you don't want to drill into your counter. And this is a, the tiniest drill bit that I own. And what I'm going to do is right here on the corner of the book is where I'm going to drill. And then we're going to put the jump hook in. So we're going to put it through the hole just like this. And add the chain through the hook. Then you can close it by hand. This is really pliable. See? I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. So this time I'm going to put the jump hook on the opposite side. So it goes across like this. This is just a handbag. Put the second jump hook in. So there you go, DIY book clutch. Seriously, how cute is this, right? And here's our gray version over here. This has a longer strap on it, and then the faux fur version. Very cute, super easy. If you guys like this video, please subscribe to this channel and head over to my channel as well, Unlily Shop, and be sure to leave a comment below. And if you make this project, I would love to see your pictures. So email them to me so I can post on my Facebook and Instagram. And thank you so much for watching, guys. See you later.